Hi, I'm Doug Clark and it's a privilege for me to be able to come and share some of my memories with you of the uh, very early years of the Church of Christ and particularly the young people in the church. We're really fortunate to have uh, some of uh, the very old footage taken by two of our past members, uh, Alec Lang and Arthur Mansell, as, as some of the earlier shots, and then Harry Diggle uh, from the late 50s on through to the 60s. But before we go any further, let me first introduce uh, to you my brother Vic Clark, uh, who will have some special memories of uh, some, particularly some of the later camps that I will have. Hi Vic, how are you? Hi Doug. Good to have you with us. And as we go through, we just want to see if we can uh, pick out some of the, of the great memories of uh, some of the early years of, of young people in St Rosia. Well, Doug, this seems to be a, um, a Sunday school anniversary, oh, I you're, think. You're right, a very early Sunday school. You know, and, and the church was exploding with people, wasn't it, at that time, with young people? It seemed to be, yes. Well, there, there are a lot of, um, of young teachers there, and, and I recall that a lot of those young teachers uh, later became campers uh, in the district as they grew up. <laughs> There's uh, some special shots of uh, somebody having a bit of fun. Uh, we, ha we had some special um, people who, who led those camps, and we might talk about some of those as we go through some of those earlier camps. Uh, you know, m my memory, Vic, is that um, the first camp started uh, in uh, 1946 uh, under the direction of uh, a great man we had here, Les Snow. And um, he seems to have uh, called on Bill Marshall from the Berry Church of Christ to bring over some young people. I think they brought over about 12 people to that first camp. And um, that was the start of um, the Murray Valley Youth Camps as we, as we knew them through the years. So right back then, Doug, they were reaching out sort of to the, um, to the further uh, churches such oh, as... Oh, they were. Berry um, and Swan, Swan Hill. I, I can't remember whether Swan Hill came to that first camp. I think it was probably Berry, Loxton, Barmer, and Mildura. There were about 60 young people who joined together at that time in that first camp. And that one, was it Mansell's, was it? Oh, yes. Well, let me, let me say that uh, that was uh, a tremendous asset to it because... Um, the Mansell family opened their, their fruit block up to us and, and we camped there. We had uh, facilities there, pickers huts that we could camp in, a kitchen. And that was a, a wonderful asset to the church to be able to, to uh, use that facility there. Yeah. I'm sure people as they watch this will be able to pick out themselves or other people as they, they go through. They'll see people that they know. Uh, you've got to remember that this is going back uh, <laughs> quite a few years, and so they're going to look a bit different, aren't they? That's for sure. Uh, yeah, we, we, we went all over the place. We went to uh, that shot, I, I believe, was taken uh, in a camp. We took young people to Swan Hill. Uh, Swan Hill was certainly into the picture by this stage. And uh, there's young people they're just having a bit of fun there. They seem to be particularly well dressed, Doug, oh, oh, well, for tunnel I was going to say they? that. It's quite amazing that you see that, that the, all the guys have got ties on. Uh, <laughs> now you, wouldn't, you wouldn't say that today, but uh, <laughs> the young people of those days did. There's, there's a shot of Arthur McWilliams. L uh, let me say, uh, just say, I've got to say something about Arthur McWilliams because he was the driving force of, of most of the camping that, that happened in, uh, in St Rosia from uh, the very early years right through to the end of camping. He, he was a tremendous asset to us. But there he was in that camp, just a young person running around having fun. <laughs> if I remember rightly, we, we camped in, uh, or the boys did at least, camped in uh, Cockroft's um, packing shed at that, at that camp. Oh, yes. I'm not sure where the girls went to, but... Uh, That's a pretty clear shot. Where do you think that was taken, Vic? Well, my to... guess, Doug, and it's only a guess, is that it's um, the original Mansell family home front garden. Ah, look, you might be right. Now, now that's an early shot. Uh, I can see my wife Edna there, and she looks like about 15 when I first met her. So that's about um, 1945. Yes, there's some uh, people looking pretty young there. <laughs> that's right. Uh, Jack Chivel came to Redcliffe's church in 1947. And uh, he joined uh, Les Snow in the 47 camp and, and they became a tremendous uh, force together, those two guys. 
There's some young people you'll recognise. I think it, you could say either, you know, Mr Snow or Mr Shivel uh, virtually tutored Arthur up to becoming that, that sort of great leader that he became. Oh, very much so. Um, they, were, they were great leaders and uh, uh, they just loved young people and, uh, and Arthur took that on. Uh, we started a, um, a group here in St Rosia called the uh, Murray Valley Youth Council and Arthur headed that up. I was secretary of that I think at the time. And from about 1948, 49 on, uh, that group was responsible for um, organising camps, not only in St Rosia but um, also going to Swan Hill, going to Bury, Loxton, uh, Monbulk we went to, uh, Halls Gap, we took boys and girls camps there. Fantastic, uh, those boys camps. Camping was, was a big thing and uh, you know, <coughs> uh, the camps grew from uh, that small start of, I think probably in 46, about 60 young people and grew till uh, we had to try and put a cut off uh, on it. Um, usually there were 100, sometimes 110, 115 we let go in, but uh, it was just too many for us to handle. Um, one of the other great guys in the church, uh, Alec Lang, uh, had a, a 46 Ford truck with stake sides on it. Remember that truck, Vic? I sure do. Many's the ride I had on the back of that. and. None more exciting than the journeys we took to uh, Halls Gap as, as boys campers. Ah, oh, well that's right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, to pack 60 or so young people on the back of the truck was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I can remember, you know, when the truck went around the corner and all the boys got thrown up against the girls, we thought that was pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got to know each other pretty well. Uh, you can say we mixed very closely <laughs> together but, <laughs> in those early years. We really did. Doug, and I can remember also that truck being used um, on Christmas Eve for uh, Christmas carolling. Oh, my the, word, yeah. The churches. Um, we'd take the piano out of the kindergarten hall. and That's right. I think I can remember um, Alice Mansell uh, playing for us. We'd go around the district singing. But, but even in the camps, we'd sing our hearts out, singing choruses going through the town. Um, that, was, that was quite amazing. It was a bit of unintentional advertising for the youth group, <laughs> it I was. think, wasn't it? Everybody knew it was going on, and, and we'd have um, uh, pictures in the paper of, of the camping groups and what was happening. Everybody knew what was happening. Uh, yeah, and one of the great things, we, uh, most of the camps, the early camps, we went for a boat trip, and uh, <laughs> that was exciting. Uh, there's a shot of a young Keith, Melberg and Pat. They were a couple who um, made a go of it together. You know, I counted up, I think, Vic, uh, something like about 30 young people that found their life's partners from those camps. Mm. Uh, there's Les Snow, a good shot of Les. What, what, a, what a gentle, lovely giant of a man he was. But camping in the early days was fairly rough, Vic, because... Um, you know, we uh, had those um, stretches that had cyclone wire over them and pretty thin sort of mattresses, camped in tents in a dusty area at Mansell's Block. Yeah, I can remember the day after Christmas, Artie had round us up, a few of us boys, and, and uh, go off with the truck, and we'd go right around the whole district getting camp stretches from the various different oh, members I remember of the that churches. Thing. Yeah. Camp stretches and 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 mattresses. And mattresses. That's exactly. Right. We all had to be named and hopefully went back. To the right <laughs> hopefully owners. went back to their owners <laughs> in, in reasonably good conditions. That's right. But then it was uh, the, the opposite at the end of the camp. What a big pack up it was, and all the stretches oh, had to go back again. When everybody was dog tired mm -hmm. too. Mind you, uh, there were a lot of stretches down at Mansell's as well, but we we certainly had to gather a few. That's for right. The numbers we had. Now, some of these shots had been still shots on the movies originally, and you can never see who, who these people were. Uh, but um, Ian has been able to um, slow some of them down, so some of the still shots. Uh, that was probably a movie there, but uh, some of the shots later on, he's brought them in to be stills, and we can actually see who those people were. Never seen them before. No, 
Uh, there were some great friendships formed in those uh, years, Vic, and, and you'll notice as you look at the young people, uh, you'll see they had several different partners over the years. Uh, great friendships with one another before they finally found their life partner. Uh, Jack and, and Mrs. Chivell in that previous shot. The church seemed to provide all the needs for your social life in those days, Doug, didn't well, they? Well, they did, Vic, and um, we never went outside of the church to find um, things to do. Um, you know, we had the picnics together as a uh, whole church going down to uh, the river and for picnics. And, um, and the camps the, and the clubs, the young people, it was, uh, it was tremendous. The church did provide uh, for people in such a way. I can remember the uh, pleasant Sunday afternoons that used to be held at the... Uh, Weren't they great? Yeah, that's right. Weren't they? And we moved from church to church. Well, at the um, St. Rosie Youth Council organised those uh, that I spoke of before, and um, there were two representatives from each church, and um, once a month we would go to uh, the different churches, Denton, Merbeen, Redcliffs and Mildura, and, and a great group of us, uh, 40 or 50 young people, just enjoying each other's company That's and having right. a lot of fun. Mm. Yes, uh, I was only thinking yesterday, Doug, about how um, how much Mansells and, and Alec Ling must have had to reprogram their, their normal work schedule. Um, oh, exactly. Around, around the use of the truck. Uh, I mean, having it away for a week uh, must have meant no oranges being carted for a while. Exactly. And, 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 uh, of course, Vic, that happened uh, during the year because there'd be trips to, uh, as I say, to Hall's Cap and we'd take his truck away and he didn't have it for a week there. Uh, and I also thought of Arthur Mansley, you know, it was picking time coming up soon for him. He had to get a lot of stuff ready, but we took over his uh, dipped in shed and use his hessians. That's right. Use his quarters. <laughs> no, they, they, they got... They got Infiltrated his block. <laughs> well, we did. <laughs> Took it over. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was Rusty Mansell that just popped his head up there and, and, and um, uh, he was always at every camp. He wasn't old enough to be a camper, but he was always there. You'll see him in a lot of shots. One of those privileged young people. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> And some of the uh, other younger people you see were actually children of the ministers um, and their wives. That uh, is Don Hunt from Berry. That's a Berry trip there that uh, we we went to. Uh, Doug, yes. when you went to the original Berry trips, did you go to? Did you stay at Barmer or did you? No, we didn't. We stayed in uh, in houses, as I remember, in the first trips over there. Right. Yeah, they built us out, and we'd come together. Mm. And you think that one's a, uh, a berry trip, do you? That's there? a berry trip. Mm. 